Hello guys, it's Philly Cuts. Just worked another long, hard day. Just got out of the shower, in the bathroom, 11 hours. Fuck. God. All right, today I got cap collectors. This is from a brewery out of Maryland. Flying Dog Ales. And Hunter S. Thompson once said, Good people drink good beer. Dr. Hunter S. Thompson. Is that for us to assume that assholes and dicks drink Budweiser? Coors Light? Uh, I don't know. Artwork. If you recognize, it's Ralph Stedman. There's the price of the beer, too. $9.99. American. Ralph Stedman. Uh, did a lot of illustrations for many Hunter S. Thompson books, Fear and Loathing, on the Campaign Trail 72. There's a Stedman drawing right there. It's a Godzilla drawing. A couple in the back. Four more years, four more years. That's a reference to Nixon. Here's the Godzilla again. A little clearer picture. Anyway, you get the point. Hunter S. Thompson, if you don't know who he is, here's a picture when he was young. I should have my pipe. But well, anyway, my tobacco pipe, thank you. There's Gonzo, father of Gonzo Journalism himself. Hunter S. Thompson, you don't know who he is, check him out. Great, great writer, American writer. All right, guys, first thing I want to talk about with this beer, Snake Dog IPA. And there's the snake dog, baby. Weird looking thing. Resident Evil-ish. Something's gonna sprout out of my head after I drink this and it could get nasty. Anyway, let's read what's on here. First, it, I like that it tells you right up front, right on the bottle, right there. See that? 7.1 alcohol, 60 IBUs, international bitterness units. Right off the bat, I don't gotta do any research, figure out how much is in here, how much alcohol, what the ABV is. All beer companies should do this, man. Put it right on the bo bottle, or you know, put it on the contain, you know, the the, the the carton. Look, this even goes into further detail, telling you how hoppy it is, color. Good, good job. All right, so here's the little story. All right, let's let's read it. Tired of those annoying 3 a.m. hang-ups from your crazy stalking ex. Turns out the same qualities that make your ex so damn annoying make our Snake Dog IPA so attractive. Chuck full of bitterness, bite, and attitude. It slaps you in the face with flavor, just like your psycho ex did at the bar. Canvas. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's open this up. I'm going to use my snifter. There's a little water in there. I just washed it. Alright, let's do it up. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good billow of condensation. Do a pour like this here for you guys, all right? We use the snifter for IPAs, at least I do. The oversized red wine glass. All right, right off the bat, it's got a nice orange, deep copper color. And uh, it's it's almost completely opaque. I'm putting my fingers in front, Cena style. Uh, say you can't see it. You can see a little bit of the shadow there, right? So you know it's it's not completely opaque, but it's pretty damn close. So it's got a little murkiness to it. Let's take a whiff. Mmm, very very hoppy. Citrus, grapefruit, big citrus, grapefruit. I want to say pineapple, and then underlying that you get the malt. I also want to see like the caramel malt. So you can smell the, the sweetness. All right, let's take a taste, buddy. And this smells like a West Coast. Think of a West Coast IPA. I always like to say Sierra Nevada Torpedo IPA for that kind of hops. I believe the hops used in this are Columbus and Warrior. So, 
you know, not the cascade that uh, we know that a lot of uh, Sierra Nevada brewing company likes to use. Anyway. Um, pretty good, pretty smooth. I'm getting that bitterness still. That bitterness is really coming in right in the middle of my tongue. I'm working its way around the edges of my tongue. It's sharp and bitter, but at the same time, very crisp and refreshing. Tasting a little bit of the malt. It's like a grassiness. This is pretty good. It's got a real lovely smell if you like that West Coast hoppy smell. And, and uh, like I said that the um, American, the AIPAs, American IPAs such as this, especially a West Coast style, even though this is brewed in Maryland, they originally started in Colorado. So I consider that West Coast. Um, it has that characteristic. And if you're familiar with the IPAs from that region, then you know what I'm talking about. Just sharp, not like a, a muted um, European IPA style, like a, an English IPA, uh, which kind of has that, like, I want to say earthy, like kind of muted hopness, which I'll be all, I'll be honest, I'm biased towards the West Coast sharpness. It's vibrant, it wakes you up, it, it's crisp, it, it, it's thirst quenching. But at the same time, it's fairly typical, you know, nothing really too outstanding. I've had hoppier IPAs. Um, such as a lot of the dogfish head stuff. But this is pretty damn good. I think you should put it on the list. Probably gonna give it about, probably like a B, B plus around there. I mean, this is pretty solid. You get the nice lacing effects, the after effects. There's a nice shot of the color there for you. And like most IPAs, the head dissipates fairly quickly. It also is dissipating quicker because of the glass that it's in, but usually the higher the ABV of a beer, um, the less head retention you're going to have or the less of initial head you're going to have. That's just how it goes. I'm still really getting that grapefruit, big citrus, pine, a little hint of pine, pineapple. Just, it's good beer. Check it out, man. Check it out. Good people. How does it go? Good people drink good beer. Love you, Hunter. Great guy. I might uh, upload this article on my Tumblr account. I started one. Uh, I don't know if I could do that, though. I don't know if that's legal, if I could copy it and put it up on my blog over there. But I don't know. Who knows? Someone down there let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.